Number five, go for the details. Pictures of the details, things that this bride and groom have spent all this time and energy investing to make it uniquely their own so it's not a cookie cutter wedding. Making sure you get all those little details because they're not gonna see it the day of their wedding because there's so much going on. Number four, expect the unexpected. A more unexpected shot would be something where there's a glance or there's a touch that they don't know that you're shooting it, but you know they're having dinner and she touches his arm. Something that we're watching for that when they look back at it, it's going to evoke a little bit of sentimental, I can't believe what I was feeling in that moment. Number three, no boring backgrounds. Another shot that might be on a must-have list would be shots where you can find really unique backgrounds, whether it might be a really cool graffitied wall that when you have a bride and groom standing in front of it, it's just that contrast. It's just the same with contrasting colors that people choose for their weddings to make things pop, picking spots for taking pictures. So a colored mural, something that they're gonna just really pop off of when she's in white and he's in black, you can put them in front of so many different things. Number two. Daddy's little girl. The moment the bride has with her father before she goes down either the aisle in a church or a garden, peeking around the corner to see all their guests sitting there before she realizes she has to walk down, or the way they look at each other right before they're about to walk down is always really sweet. Number one, they lived happily ever after. The send off, if there's a send off at the end, because again, that's another highly emotional moment when this whole day is over but the rest of their life is beginning.